Let me ask a member of the party. Uh, it's being in the, in the National Assembly, Honorable Bimbo Daramola. Let me put this to you. Uh, Governor of Imo State did say that they had a weak party. And that it was the reason why they've had problems in the past. Do you believe or do you hold this view also that the APC had run a very weak structure in the past few years? Uh, um, I'm having problems trying to catch up with what you said. All right, let me quickly put, uh, put a question again. Uh, for governor of Imo State, uh, Rocha Sokorocha, uh, on Saturday when we asked him at the arena, he did say that they have had a weak party leadership in the past. That's where they've had the kind of problems that we've been seeing in the party. Do you hold that view also? Well, well Shion, you, you need to understand the fact that um, the party did not evolve generically. Um, it was a party that came into being out of, it was a product of circumstances where patriots from across the divide, um, the guys who would want to be known as the NPDP, and I think um, very soon um, we, should, we should be able to find a harmonious integration. But talking about what I've said before, um, you find the guys coming out of P CPC, the guys coming out of the Dennis CN, and then, of course, a, a little bit of ABGA, and then coming together and all of that. Don't forget that that was um, a time in our political history where patriots came together and felt that it's a good time to kick the house of um, the PDP. And um, everyone coming from everywhere else would have come with their own specific identities. It's called grafting in agri agriculture. When you bring a stem of a, pro of a plant that's doing well, and then you take another one that is doing well from another side, and then you do what is called grafting. Grafting is supposed to eventually lead to a better product. Um, what um, governor, governor, um, uh, governor of Imo State, um, Rocha Zokorucha, probably intended or wanted to say would have been that the four years that we've had, we've not had seamless integration or harmonious integration. And I think this is one of the things that should be on the plate of um, Comrade Adam Soshio Mole, who is um, an eight-cylinder eight, um, engine truck. And I believe that he is well um, equipped by history, by profile, by demonstrated capacity to be able to heal some of those cracks and features and cleavages that we've had to carry on for the past four years. Quickly, uh, let me put this to you. It looks like the PDP is ready to take on your, your party. And the chairman of the PDP has said, look, if the right environment is provided, that they are ready to give your party a robust criticism and constructive criticism, that's what he said. And so do you think that we can see that kind of scenario playing out Presently, especially the major opposition PDP and in the ruling APC on the issues of policy and governance. Well, uh, well, if only for the sound bite of it, I think I'm happy that um, um, Prince Takondos um, of the PDP could come with such a very bold and um, um, very, very, very clear charge to the to the ruling party. And of course, the, what that means is that the system is going to be better for it. There's going to be um, um, a combustion of ideas. And this time around, the ruling party will not be in a position to sit idly by and then watch and, and see themselves glide to victory. What I would expect that with, what, um, with the emergence of um, um, Comrade Adam Soshio Mole, who everybody knows is history in this country anyway, and coming from the labor background. And uh, I can almost safely say that Comrade Adam Oshiomole, if you take, if, if take Oshiomole away from his name, you may as well put struggle as his um, um, surname. And then you find um, um, Prince um, Secondos, who's lived the greater, greater part of his political life in so much of comfort, so much of confidence. So it, it remains to be seen how it would translate um, that, um, that uh, 
charge into action. I, I, I would really be looking forward to, in the days ahead, I would really be looking forward to an opposition party who is really going to, that's going to give the, um, the ruling party a run for its money. And I think it's about time because the system is going to get better for it. Okay. I see a number of people, good people, who are also trying to run in the PDP. All right. And um, some of them I know, and I think they come to this election. They come into this election. La, la, I'm election. sorry to butt in, but we need to take a breather. When we come back, uh, in, during the, the, the break, we, we will hear from other uh, dissenting voices on the issue of security and how the federal government is handling. But when we come back, we'll talk more about the opposition and the challenge to the ruling party. Join us again, everyone.